Hi! In this video we're going to demonstrate how to use O2J to convert a simple Objective-C project into a Java project. O2J lets you translate Objective-C source code into Java files. Here's our project in Xcode. It simply has one class and one protocol with several blocks Let's specify the project name, the source directory. This is the directory where all the Objective-C files are found. We're going to use Eclipse, create a new Java project. We'll create a separate source directory for all the generated code. We'll specify the target directory as this newly created source directory. We'll specify the base package. If we had subfolders in our source directory, those would be added on to the base package in a package structure. We can optionally specify inclusions and exclusions. Since we're not doing an Android conversion, we can delete those imports from the imports field. Let's save the project and run the conversion. You can see the result here, newly converted Java files, including generated block Java files under the gen package. Let's go back to Eclipse, refresh, to see our newly generated files. Here's the person.java file that corresponds to the person.m file from Xcode. As you can see, there's some compile errors. First of all, there's this converted annotation and these imports from convertsource.compat and .annotation. Also, this Apache Commons.lang import. Let's fix those imports now. Back in O2J, we can click Download Compatibility Support to download the Compatibility Support Library. We've already downloaded it here and extracted it. When you extract it, it's actually an Android Eclipse project that you can use directly from Eclipse. But we only need the libraries and source code for compatibility. Let's copy the libraries, select them, and then add them to our build path. and then select the source code. We'll create a new source folder for our compatibility code. Copy it into the source folder. The compatibility code contains several Android related classes. You can just delete these for this example. Now we only have a few compile errors. This is because the app delegate.m file references a lot of Cocoa specific classes. It actually isn't that useful to translate this app delegate file 
So we're just going to exclude it from the conversion. Back in the O2J app, click Project, add an exclusion, save the project. We'll delete it here as well in Eclipse. Click Convert, and you can see the AppDelegate.java was excluded from conversion. Now let's look at the conversion output. You can see at the very top we have the imports that were specified in our project settings. Below that, there's this converted annotation. This annotation can be changed to ported or porting if you need to make custom changes to this Java file. When you change it to ported or porting, O2J will not overwrite the file with the newly updated Java file from translation. As you can see, O2J translates the methods found in the original Objective-C file into Java equivalents. Methods with multiple variable names are separated with an underscore. Properties are translated into Java beans with getters and setters found at the bottom of the newly generated class files. These block type definitions are converted into generated block interfaces if you use a type def it will become the name of the interface in Java. As you can see the person chooser extends block person person person. What that really means is it's a block that returns person and takes two person parameters. The person handler extends block person, which really means it's a block that returns nothing, void, and takes a person as a parameter. As you can see, we have one method here with a person handler. All blocks have one method, the call method. Let's look at the protocol birthplace aware. That protocol contains some properties which were converted to bean methods, getters and setters. It also had one method formatted birthplace. Those bean methods were brought into the person class and implemented. Birth date and city. You'll also notice this children array was parameterized with the person parameter. O2J was able to determine that it was an array of person from the handle children method. Even though in Objective C there's no such thing as parameterized arrays, we just have in a mutable array of children. And here we see that children expects to have person objects in it. O2J was able to infer that it is an array list of person. Let's look more closely at how the translation actually works. Back in O2J, there's the Types tab. As you can see, it sets up equivalents of Objective-C types to their Java counterparts. You can customize this to fix any issues you have with translation.
The Method tab lets you specify translations using method names and their corresponding template. Templates contain a subject, numbered parameters, or even variable parameters in the template. For instance, the uppercase string method for in a string is translated to string utils dot uppercase and then the subject, the string itself, is passed in. Range of string is translated to a compatibility in s range dot range of string with the subject and the first parameter as parameters. Let's make some changes to the person file to test the conversion method translation. We'll use the range of string method and then we'll go back to O2J and run conversion. As you can see, the method template was used to convert range of string to ns range dot range of string. Now you can see there's already a problem because the translation for the nslog method is log.i, which is an Android specific thing. Let's specify our own nslog equivalent. <laughs> 